Hey folks, there's been a lot of talk over the last day or so about reported vulnerability in the Spring framework and how it may become the next log 4 shell. Now Spring itself is a widely used Java development framework and it's deployed in millions of instances worldwide, which makes vulnerabilities a potentially wide-ranging problem. There are actually a couple of reported vulnerabilities, one in Spring Core and one in Spring Cloud Function, and there has been some conflation between the two. Of them, the Spring Core vulnerability is potentially the bigger threat. These two have been assigned CVE 2022-22963 for the Spring Cloud function and 22965 for the Spring Core vulnerability. The Spring Cloud function vulnerability is reported first and affects versions 3.16, 3.22, and earlier unsupported versions. The fix is updating to a later version, 3.17 or 3.23, which aren't susceptible to the attack. The vulnerability of Spring Core in 22965 is the one that's getting much more attention. It first came to light originally as a rumor, and it took hours for research to really confirm there was an issue. Since that initial announcement on March 30th, more details have come out, including mitigations, and more information on what deployments specifically are vulnerable. There are proof of concept exploits out there, which means it's likely we're going to see some exploit traffic in the wild, if not immediately, over the next few days. Specific vulnerable versions of Spring Framework are 5.3.0 through 5.3.17 and 5.2.0 to 5.2.19. Older, unsupported versions are also vulnerable. Now, Spring has released 5.3.18 and 5.2.20, which address the vulnerability. There are also mitigations developers can use to work around the issue if they can't upgrade immediately to the latest version. For Vulkan Cyber users, we're keeping an eye on these vulnerabilities. We'll have the fixes available shortly and keep them updated as things evolve. Once the vulnerability scanners that you've got connected up can detect this, you'll see them in the console as well. We're also adding it to Remedy Cloud, our publicly available repository of CVEs and their corresponding fixes. So check out our blog, as we'll be keeping things updated. And if you want to see Vulkan Cyber in action for yourself, check out Vulkan Free, our free-to-use version of Vulkan Cyber that lets you hook up and use it yourself.